Hello everyone, Scott Bloom here, and uh, I am going to do an update on uh, Sega Saturn emulation on LaunchBox. For a while, I've been using uh, SSF to launch uh, Sega Saturn games, and that was quite a tedious task, to say the least. Um, then I discovered another emulator called Kronos. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna get that set up. So, uh, let's open up uh, Firefox, and you're gonna want to go to this website, which I will uh, sh uh, provide a link to in the description. Uh, now, the site is in French, but uh, it's very easy to navigate so we got our uh, emulator selection bar here and we want to go down to Sega Saturn now this page has a list of available Sega Saturn emulators but we're gonna focus on Kronos 64-bit version 2.1.1 I was using 2.0.6 so let's get that downloaded uh, let's see here okay that's that links to the Yava use website so let's try going here okay so we got the download going so let's put it in our Launchbox emulator folders. Create a new folder called Kronos and save it there. Okay, it's completed. Open up the folder and we will extract the file here. Okay, so got. Uh, Got all our, all our Kronos files, so we can get rid of the zip file. Go into LaunchBox, and we will go to Tools and man Manage Emulators. Add a new emulator, emulator name, Kronos. Application path, browse to emulators, Kronos, Kronos that exe open that up default command line parameters we need dash a and dash i that will automatically uh, load and run the uh, iso in uh, chronos associated platforms sega saturn default emulator and that's it that's all we need. So hit OK. You made this emulator the default emulator for the Sega Saturn. Would you like to update all Sega Saturn games to use this emulator as well? Yes. Close that out and select the game. Press play. And it should launch the game. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do, I forgot to configure the emulator. We want to go into Kronos, uh, File, Settings, select the BIOS. And I still have uh, SSF on here for some reason. Uh, that one, yeah, BIOS. Alright, select that one. Okay, oh. CD-ROM, right? Uh, dummy CD drive. That's what I had. So let's see here. Save states, translation, auto start. All right. Okay. We can close that up, and hopefully it'll work this time. Okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, eject, open CD-ROM, choose a CD-ROM. Nope. 
Uh, actually, let's okay settings ISO file virtual drive eject load ISO okay uh, now let's try that again launch with Kronos Right, let's try uh, Libre or RetroArch. Okay, so it's running with RetroArch. That's what it should look like. But all right, let's. Try to fix this. Let's go back into Kronos. All right, let's actually go into Tools, Manage Emulators, Kronos, Edit. Uh, So emulators, Kronos, Kronos, EXE, okay. Associated platform, Sega Saturn. Can't do this because I don't have uh, a premium version. Can't use, the, oh, let's see here. This is no good without uh, premium either. Okay, so there's nothing needed to be done here. That should work, but it's not. Okay, settings, okay, video, open geo, on screen display, window resolution original, stretch to window, start in full screen. Upscale filter, embellishment filter, OpenGL, 1080p, tessellation, scan line off, mesh mode, wireframe off, sound, a cart memory, 32 megabit ROM, or DRAM. Okay, input. Uh, okay, SDL drawing stick. All right, I don't need to worry about that. Region auto detect. Okay, so all that should be good. Hide menu bar on full screen. Hide toolbar on full screen. Shortcuts. Okay. Close. Play. Okay, there we go. Oof. Okay. Okay, so we're running Shining the Holy Ark on Kronos. Now, let's uh, fine tune the emulator. Settings, uh, video, OpenGL, stretch to window, um, yeah, upscale vil filter, mesh mode, scan line off, tr tessellation, uh, let's go with GPU tessellation. Let's see here, advanced region auto detect, chronos interpreter, now I 
I thought there was an option for uh eh, try it again. Okay, that's better. Sonic! Software planning. Yeah, let's lower that. Sorry about that. Wasn't thinking. Alright. So the only thing that needs to be done is uh, configure the uh, gamepad. And that is it for the Kronos emulator. Again, I will uh, add a link to the site in the description. Thank you for watching, and uh, happy gaming. <laughs>